In this video series, we are going to create a dialog or model by using this headless UI. So we will create something like this. So you can click on open to open the dialog and click on the other area to close the models or dialog. We are going to create the next app. So we copy this and paste to the terminal. And then we type our project name. And then we have to install this so we copy and paste through. And then we have to install this so we copy and paste to we enter the project and then we copy this to install the Tailwind CSS and then we copy this and then we type cook dot to open with VS Code, and then we copy this and paste to our tailwind.config file. And then we also copy this to replace our globals.css. So we go to styles and we replace this. And then we can also copy this part and paste to our index.js. So we go to the page, go to the index, and we delete this and replace with header. So now we can open the terminal and type young dev. Now we can see it already has the underlying style. And this is controlled by the tailwind. And since we also need to use the recall, so we copy this and go to the terminal. And then we also go to the app.js. And we also copy this and paste to the underscore app.js. And at the root folder, we create a folder called atoms. And inside this, we create a file called modelatom.js. And then we are going to create a state. So we just copy this and paste to here. But we have to use export. And we change this to open state. And by default, we set the value as false. And we have to import atom. And we import the atom from the recoil. And then we type young dev. And then we are going to create a folder called components. So we click here and paste components and make a new file called my dialog.js and then we go to the headless UI and we can see there is a demo and we have to install the package and we go to the app the underscore app and we have to add export default functions I think we change this to we add here not paste the examples so we go to the recoil and we copy this recoil root and then we import the recoil root and we change this positions to here and save it and I paste the forward slash wrong 
is a place before the sentence. So now you can see it runs OK. And now we can go to the local host. And now you can see it works perfectly. So now we can back to the headless UI and add this package. So we go back to the terminal. We stop the server and add the package. And we can go to copy these and paste to my dialog.js. And then we use use we call it stay. And we import the use we call state from recoil. And we have to pass the open state here. And so we have to import the open state from atoms and from the model and the name is model atom. Now we have to back to the index and we try to control the models from the index page. Now we change this to div and we add the button. And then we also have to import the uh, my dialog from components and then my dialog and then we add on click and then we go to use set is open to true and we copy this from the component because this is the same so we copy this and go back to the index and we paste to here and we also copy the use we call state and also the open state and now we are going to import the my dialog at the bottom so we save it and then we go to use young dev and we are going to add set is open to be true and it said we forgot to export default the component so we have to export default the functions so now we can see the open buttons and when we click on this you can see this simple dialog and if we click on the deactivate now you can see it will close the dialog and we can also click the cancels to set this to false because as you can see you can set is open to false in this part we are going to show how to manage the focus within your dialog and the first thing is we have to create a variable by using the use ref so we copy this and paste to here and then we go to the dialog and we set the initial focus is equal to the complete button ref and we create two models and this complete and now we go to and then we create two more buttons and this is complete and now if we go to we have to import the use ref and now if we type tab and then we click open now you can see it will highlight the first one and this is the default and if we set the complete button ref on one of the buttons for example if we go to here and type just like this example and if we type ref is equal to complete ref to the end now if we go to our website again and tap the tap button and press OK and now you can see it highlight the complete button and if we 
go to cut this out and paste to the second button. And we close it and we press again. Now you can see it will focus on the second button that we just add the ref on it. In this part, we are going to style the overlay and also style the dialog. But for easier to watch, we are going to the index and set some background colors. So we go to the index and and here we add the cast name and then we add the BG red of 500. Now if we go to our website you can see the background colors and now we are going to copy this style and then we back to the dialog and add this cast. So you can see it will fix it so it will on top of the background and it will have inset zero so it will not have any space between the edges and the overflow y and it will become has a scroll bar if the content is too long and i think this will be better if we go to set the index and the height is screen now you can see it take up the whole screen and now we are going to add the overlay colors so if you look at this you can see it also has fixed inset zero and background back and also the opacity of 30 so we go to the my dialog and go to the overlay and add this cast name and now you can see it has some overlaid and some black colors uh, but this is semi-transparent and if we click on this you can see the red is more clear so this is how to style the overlay and this is these two things is a little bit different if we set the color at the outer part you can see the difference so if we set background blue 400 and you can see there is some blue colors and if we type some inset now you can see it has some space in between and if we set for example the inset is 5 now you can see the overlay is at this part so these two actually is two different things in this dialog component. So we turn back to set this to zero. And we remove the blue color. And now we are going to set the dialog color. So we copy this and you can see we have the background white and it has round and it also set the mass width so we copy and we have to use the div to wrap the dialog title and all the content so if you think the content is including the dialog title and the paragraph and also the button this all of this thing is the dialog content so we can cut this and paste to here and now you can see we have the content and we can see it do not center because we have to set the minimum height screen also at the dialog overlay so we have to add another div to center all the overlay and also the content so we have to copy this and right on top of the overlay we paste this and we cut this and div and paste to the end of the dialog now we can see the dialog content is at the center and if we click on the other it will disappear and if we click back it will appear again so this is how to style the dialog overlay and also the dialog content now we are going to create the transitions on the dialog and you can see there are two parts one is the transition the whole dialog and the other is you can transition
the overlay and also the content separately. So the first thing is we are going to create the transitions. So we copy this and go to our dialog. And on top of the dialog, we paste the transition. And we have to import the transition from the headless UI. And now as the documentation said, we do not need to use the open. So we can remove the open props because it will automatically watch these props. So we are going to use the open, remove the open. And actually there is some missing in the documentation is we have to use the transition as fragment. So we copy this as fragment and paste to here. And now we have to paste the end of transition after the dialog. So we save it and back to the local host and it said the fragment is not defined so we have to import the fragment. So we go to here and import the fragment from React. So we can see it already import the fragment and we can also delete the use state and now we click open and now you can see some movement and then we click other part it will disappear and it will depends on this you can see this has the duration of 100 and it will come out from the opacity 0 to 100 and we can see the 100 is 100 millisecond and we can see the difference if we go to here and add some longer time so now if we click on this now you can see it appears slowly and if we also click on here and change this it will also disappear slowly so this is how to add the transition and now we are going to add the transitions at the overlay and also the content separately and as you can see we can remove all of these and add the transition.child so now we copy the transition.child and wrap the dialog overlay so we delete all of this and we use the transition.child to Wrap the overlay. Now if we back to here and click open. And then we also copy this transition trial. And this wrap all the dialog content. So we copy this and right before the content we paste to here. And at the end of the dialog and before the end of the dialog we paste the transition dot child now if we back to our website and we click open and then we click the other part it will disappear but now after you click on the open and you can see a quick flash of black color so to fix this, we can go to add the BG right before the opacity 30s. And if you now click on this, you can see it will correct the transparency. And also you can make these two duration is a lot different. So you can see this move one by one they move separately. So if you make this duration is 1000 and now you should see the content will be leave first and then the overlay will leave another time. So when we click on this, so you can see the overlay will move slower than the content. So it will be a much more faster if we go to leave and the duration is 50. So now if click and now you can see the content move immediately, but the overlay will move slowly.